If you found yourself setting goals over and over and over again, only to find yourself in this vicious loop of setting the same goals, feeling stressed out that you're not hitting them, and then hoping someday that you're going to achieve them. I've discovered that setting intentions is something that's far more powerful. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to set intentions and really the power of it compared to setting goals. So whether that's making more money, improving your health, your fitness, getting a dream relationship, this idea has helped me in so many different ways and also my clients as well. It may be the perspective shift that you need to be able to create the life that you want. So if you're watching this video, you likely want to improve an area of your life. So there's likely an outcome attached to that area of your life that you want to improve. The key word here being attached. When we are attached to a goal or an outcome, we inevitably move it further and further away from us, which is what I found with every goal that I'd set. I would set a goal, I would be really attached to achieving the goal, and I had to hit it by a certain time, and I had all these expectations and attachments around it that no matter what I did, no matter how much action I took or how disciplined I was, it kept moving further and further away from me. Now we're going to get into why this happens later in this video, but I want to just share that with you so you can understand where we're coming from. A goal is similar to an intention, but they're not the same. Many people set goals and never hit them. That was me for a long time. I remember when I was just starting my online business a couple of years ago, I was trying to hit my first 10k month. I would set the same goal over and over and over again. At the end of the month, when I didn't hit it, I would crumble for a few days maybe even a few weeks, because what I was doing was attaching my self-worth to the achievement of this number on a screen. You see, goals can feel rigid because you're solely focused on external accomplishment. Most people hope that one day their goal comes into reality and then get very disappointed when they see that it's not showing up for them. It was when I went deeper and started to learn about the power of setting an intention. It was when everything actually started to shift. I went from being outcome attached to process focused. So the difference between the two, goals are specific results or achievements you want to accomplish. While intentions are more about how you want to be or what you want to experience in the process of achieving the goal itself. So instead of setting a goal and then working your ass to achieve it, try this instead. Instead of having a goal somewhere out there in the future, bring it into the now moment using this three-step process. Set your intentions based on be, do, and have. Who do I want to be? What do I want to feel on a day-to-day -day basis? What are my confidence levels? How do I show up overall? If you were experiencing this goal on a day-to-day -day basis, how would you be? What are you feeling? The next one then is what do I do and what do I need to do? What are the things I'm excited about doing while having this goal? And then what are the skills that I need to develop that I may not have currently? Then, only then, is what is the thing that I want to have in my external world around me? Which would be the outcome of being the person who has this already. You see that this right here signifies that this is in complete alignment with the be, do, and have that you've set for yourself. When you fully dial in on the process of being the person in the now moment, and you set your intention based on that specifically, not only do you detach from the outcome, but you focus on being in the process of becoming. And when you move with courage, as if it's already done, and you are clear on these three different areas, it's only a matter of time before your external world around you reflects that. Because the thing is, an intention is a definite decision that this thing that you want to bring into your life has already happened because you are being that person today. The outcome is already done. It's not going to come to you someday. It's already done. And the beautiful thing is this can be applied to dating. It can be applied to your health. It can be applied to financial goals. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does it mean to be it in the now? And that's a great question. Think of it this way. If the outcome was already done, how would you show up daily? Would you feel the neediness towards achieving it? Would you feel abundant? What would you believe about yourself? Would you feel confident and certain? Or would you hope that someday it's going to come into reality? Would you be enjoying life? Or would you be spending every waking moment trying to make it happen. Because if you're trying to make it happen, you immediately say that it doesn't exist. It's sometime in the future, which is the big difference here between the two. Now, for me, this was the hardest part, but this is the real journey of self-development. Developing that internal state of being first. You start with you and then the 3D world around you, your reality, reflects back to you your development within yourself now this doesn't mean that you have to be completely 100 perfect before you achieve something but it does mean that you must intend have the intention to embody that person on a day-to-day -day basis based on these three steps here so that you are crystal clear on what these mean to you so here's the big idea you focus daily on being that person and showing up as that person on a day-to-day -day basis while directing your mental energy and focus on the outcome that you are trying to create. And based on science and quantum physics, you start to move physical matter in your reality around you based on your mental energy and focus. There's a very interesting case study around this called the double split test. I've created videos on that before if you wanna check those out. So you see that there's a subtle difference there. Your primary focus is being that person, showing up from an emotional level, from an action and behavior level, and also understanding what it is that you want to have in your reality, getting very, very clear on those different things that's your focus on a day-to-day -day basis. And by focusing on these different areas, you are naturally in alignment with the outcome that you are trying to create. So you have your intention on this thing that you are moving towards, but you focus on being that person in alignment with that 
in the now moment, then you release attachment to that outcome. And when you release the attachment and surrender to the process itself, you reduce the resistance, you reduce the friction between you and it, you bring it into the now moment. Hopefully that's clicking for you. So this is also directly tied to things like manifestation. When you set a clear intention and then you align your thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and actions with the energy of the universe, following the steps that we just broke down, you actualize your desires into reality from a quantum non-physical level and then in the physical world as well through your actions, behaviors. It starts to materialize around you because you're bringing it into existence. But when you are solely attached on achieving an outcome and you see it as somewhere out in the future and someday I'll become the person when I have the goal, then I will start being the person. When I have the goal, then I will start feeling abundant. When I get the goal, then I will start being the person. That's not how it works. That's how I set goals for a very, very long time. It will constantly be further away from you. Just remember as well with all of this, all of your desires are yours by divine right. If you can see it in your mind, you can bring it into reality. Now lastly, when you set the intention of the outcome already being done, keeping that in your mind and instead every day focus on being the person, you let go of all the timelines. Different timelines are basically the trajectory that we're on based on how we show up on a day-to-day -day basis and the frequency that we hold. The problem with goals is the idea of arrival, thinking that one day you'll hit the goal and then everything will be great. Let go of that idea. You never arrive anywhere. A goal is like a milestone and then you keep moving. It's cool for a minute, but really it's the process along the way, the becoming of that person and showing up as that person daily. That's where the enjoyment truly comes. The discoveries about yourself, the lessons that you learn, the people that you meet, the opportunities that you get, the challenges that teach you a certain lesson about the world and yourself and the things that you learn along the way. That's the real value. When you let go of the timelines and you stop needing things to be a certain way and thinking that you're in control of everything, you allow things to flow more naturally to you. And more often than not, they come in a much better way than you expected them to. So stop attaching to the goal. Stop needing it. When you stop needing it and you surrender to the process, you focus on becoming. It just comes to you in the way it's meant to come to you. Now, you are going to face resistance with this. Your mind is going to make it more complicated than it ever needs to be. Because our mind a lot of the time is driven by our ego. And the ego wants things to be hard so that it can stay relevant and figure things out. You might find yourself starting to obsess over the how or when it will happen and getting attached to a certain date. Being pulled in all of these different directions by your mind stops you from really doing it and actualizing it in the simplest way possible. Instead of focus on just being the person daily, feeling those emotions and staying focused on being that person and the outcome that you're moving towards, you start to get obsessed with the how and you start to get attached to when it will happen or what do I need to do? And all of these things will come up on a day-to-day -day basis. But you have to remember that the process is all very, very simple. You already know the steps. It's usually the boring things that will get you there the fastest. And more often than not, you don't know 10 steps ahead, but you do know the next step. Of course, get mentorship. Of course, get coaching, get help along the way, but always come back to what is true for you. There's a handful of things that you're going to feel called to do and excited to do that are going to move you in that direction. Follow those things, but don't get caught up in this cycle of feeling that you have to do, do, do all the time, because that is just an attachment pulling you in the direction of thinking that you have to do all of these crazy things just to get an outcome. It's not the case. It doesn't have to be that complicated, but your mind will tell you that it does. People on YouTube will tell you that it does. Trust yourself. Trust the internal guidance system within you. The only hard part about all of this is learning to quiet your mind, open your heart, and listen to that guidance within you so that you don't get pulled off track in being that person on a day-to-day -day basis. Learn to trust the process. You're right where you need to be. And if you want to go deeper on quieting the mind, check out some of the resources in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Sending you love.